All right, ladies and gentlemen, platform jumper lesson one. We're going to do part three. We're going to draw the background in paint.net. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we got to look at our our project here. Let's see if I can find it. Here it is. Okay, so we got to find our project and we got to look at the size of our world. Okay, so my world is 11, 11 by 700. So we need to make a background that matches that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go into a program called paint.net. Okay, so paint.net is is a, a little misleading because people are like, oh, I'm going to look for it on the internet. Well, you can download it for free on the internet, which I suggest that you do at home so you have that tool. But it's actually already downloaded and installed. It's on the desktop. So find paint.net on the d desktop and open it up. And it's going to look a little something like this. Okay, so you've got, you've got your tools here. Uh, you got your toolbar over here. Okay, so make sure if you you know if something's missing, you can turn it on, turn stuff on, you can, so you can get different things like that. Okay, so but what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up to the correct size. So we're gonna go image, we're gonna go canvas size, and it, because we made our background one pixel uh, per uh, cell, what we'll do is make this exactly the same. So this is gonna be 1100 by 700. Okay, and then the resolution 96 is a is a good resolution. We're gonna keep that the same. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. All right, so now we have the starting point we want, that we want. So now I'm gonna pick a color. So I'm gonna pick a very masculine color. Okay, like that. And then I'm gonna go to my paint bucket and I'm gonna fill it with that color. Okay, and then I'm gonna go to the brush tool. I'm gonna pick another very masculine color that I call butter yellow. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw with that. Okay, I'm not going to belabor paint.net. You can copy and paste artwork into here. Uh, you can do all sorts of things. You can play with the basic shapes. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you mess around with it and figure it out. But your job is to draw a very beautiful background, and then when you're done, you're going to go File, Save As. Now this is crucial. You got to give it a good name, and then you also the main part is you got to save it in the right spot at the right format. So we're going to go to Brian Miller SHS. No, just kidding. It's Brian Miller. We're going to go into Programming. So we got to find my programming folder. And so we're going to poke around, and I think I put it in this I, this folder, Platform Jumper. Okay, so there's Platform Jumper uh, Lesson One. Okay, this is the one I'm using right now. And then there's an Images folder, and I'm going to save it here, and I'm going to give it a good name. And I'm going to call this one background one or maybe I'll just call this BG1 BG1 okay but give it a good name and we're gonna save it now now it's time that we're gonna use it so we're gonna click OK that settings fine so now we're gonna use it so we're gonna right click on this thing we're gonna say set image and then there it is the image I created is right there and it fits perfectly because we made it to fit perfect okay so Obviously, well, I don't know how obvious it is, but it is now that I'm telling you. Obviously, I want you to make it look nicer than I did. I just did that for um, speed, okay? And I think that's it for part two. We're going to go on in the next session to part four.